Okay, we're back at the swarm trap. Um, it's been five days since I last expected them. The weather's not looking too great at the weekend, so I thought I'd inspect them now, so in case I don't get a chance to again in the Just future. inspected the hive over the road. Um, they were there was a, a queen cell on on one of the frames. Um, it doesn't look like a swarm cell. Um, yeah, it was in exactly the same place as where I found it before, so I don't know whether they're trying to supersede the queen that's in there at the moment, because she's getting old, um, I don't know, so anyway, I'm going to open up this hive and um, see what we got. I feed these bees a one-to-one -one sugar syrup, um, just to help them, because they're a small colony, it's to help them try and encourage them to draw out the comb. That's about it really, that's the only reason I'm feeding these bees, um, because there's not a great deal of bees in this hive, so, hey. I'm just gonna give them a bit of smoke. Now, oh, can you hear that? They're very noisy, but I think these bees don't particularly like the smoke. So, I don't know whether it's worth smoking these bees, because they don't respond very well to it. Uh, Terminty Foundation, there's frames. I'm gonna use the frame rest this time. First frame, this is the frame of foundation, it had foundation on it, it's still got the lovely blue pollen I can see on this side, there's lots of stores on this one, this is literally just stores, lots of nectar, lots of pollen, they're storing away all the sugar syrup that I'm giving them. So there's no point harvesting anything from these guys this year because most of it's just going to be sugar syrup. I'm having a look in this box. They seem to be having an issue with mould. There's lots of mould in this box. And I think the reason is because there's no ventilation. They've only got the entrance. Lovely frame of brood. The stores around the top, lots of honey. Sorry, syrup. And there's a drone cell there in the middle. Nice heavy frame, lots of stores, lots of brood. Yeah, these guys are doing doing really well. This is the frame nearest the entrance. Unfortunately, there seems to be a couple of squash bees, so I wasn't very careful when I put this hive back. I'm looking for the queen. See her. Eggs, see where she's been. She's been on this frame. There's been loads and loads of eggs. One egg per cell, which is nice to see. I'm not going to pester these girls too much. I think I'm going to um, put the hive back together. What I am going to do, I'm going to place the one of the foundations frames in between the two. So the, the, this outside frame, which has just got stores on, 
and this is the first frame of brood. So I'm going to put this this frame, this empty frame. Hopefully, they can start working on on that. I am going to have to think about moving these girls into a um, either a nuke box or a slim down hive because there does seem to be a bit of mould on the bottom of the on the bottom of the um, box and that is just because there's no there's next to no ventilation um, they've actually gummed up the front entrance or they've used propolis to reduce the entrance size down so that they're not robbed as much which for the bees is, is a good idea but I don't want more problems because I don't want there to be more issues because of mould basically so but yeah I'm going to shut these girls up the weather's not looking particularly good over the next week or so so uh, yeah I'll catch up with you then thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time